guys, my name is Chris Malcolm and today I'm going to show you guys how to fill your empty shell with some cool 3D printed parametric planters. Coming from an architecture background, I do a lot of 3D printing and 3D modeling and also applying parameters to our 3D models. Kind of like how you would create an application that takes in a bunch of inputs and then has some varying outputs. So let's get started. Today we're going to be touching Wino, uh, which is a 3D modeling software, and the plugin called Grasshopper, which lets us apply these parameters. And then we're going to um, send it over to the 3D printer and get some really beautiful objects. I'm excited. Are you? So before jumping into Rhino, we're going to sketch out our idea first um, in terms of what kind of parameters we want to take in for our planter. So I have three circles with different radiuses. I have a height parameter and I have a number from 0 to 1 for where I want my middle circle to exist, whether it's going to the top or the bottom. That's going to give us different shapes with just a simple set of rules. And then, after we have our simple shape, we can specify um, a certain amount of subdivisions for our surface and a porosity parameter, so whether we have a very open uh, cell or a very close cell. And that's going to elicit a lot of different designs, and once we have the ones that we like, we can read them. So let's jump into the 3D modeling and lay this out. Cool, so now we have Rhino open. I'm just going to show you guys how Grasshopper works. We're going to type in Grasshopper to load it up. Um, Grasshopper has, is made up of a series of nodes. You can drop nodes to the canvas and attach them together. So I referenced in this point, I put in a circle and made a, a surface. And then using the slider, you can actually parameterize it. Once we like it, we can bake it out and have it in our scene to 3D print. Cool, so building on that, uh, I launched my definition that I already made, and I'm going to reference in the point from the scene. And you can see all the parameters are here from my sketch. And I'm just going to go to the end because I already have an option built in here, and I'm just going to middle click and make it out to the scene just to have my first option already done. So now let's make a second option, and I'm going to go back to my parameters. I'm going to adjust the height real quick. You can slide it or double click. Um, my middle parameter, I'm going to leave it the same. For the bottom, middle, and top radius, I'm going to make more of a bowl shape, so I'm going to adjust those numbers accordingly. And for the resolution, I'm going to change those really quickly and make it a little bit more coarse. Cool, so now we're going to bake them out, or bake the last one out, and now we're going to export them by running the export command. Uh, we're going to make sure it's a STL file, that's what our 3D printer reads, and we're going to do uh, planter 1 and planter 2. And then we're ready to go into our 3D printing software. Yeah, so once we open Simplify 3D, which is the 3D printing software, we just load our models by clicking on the import button. Then we click the prepare to print, and that's going to slice our model. So then we're going to hit print over USB to start. We use blue tape here to make the model stick to the board better. And there you have it. Boom. Pretty nice. 